So my name is Suruchi Roy Chowdhury, and I'm a research fellow at the University of Leeds, uh, and I work on plant gravitropism. So plant gravitropism is the ability of plants to respond to gravity um, and maintain their structure and form uh, in terms of how they grow. Um, and the molecular mechanisms relating to how plants are able to do this uh, are broadly well understood, but several aspects of these pathways are completely unknown. And so our group and my research particularly focuses on the role of the plant hormone auxin in regulating plant gravitropism, uh, which is important because uh, the ability of a plant to respond to gravity influences its structure and yield as well, which is obviously very important in the case of crop plants. This is something that NASA is studying very, very closely at the moment. Uh, so plants are constantly being sent out uh, into outer space uh, through space fly flight experiments. Um, and this is something that researchers are very, very closely uh, looking at in a lot of detail. Uh, broadly, plants seem to be able to change the direction in which they grow because they haven't got gravity as a reference. But in terms of development, they seem to be able to make the same structures that they do on land, which is exciting. Um, how the genetic makeup changes and, and, and what's happening internally are things that are not known at the moment, though. So understanding how plant gravity works is important because it uh, enables us to change the shape of plants and respond how and how they respond to gravity. Now this is particularly important in the case of secondary organs or lateral organs, um, which in most higher plants grow at a range of angles with respect to gravity. Um, and so these angles influence the area of the plant uh, that, that they can explore essentially both above ground and below ground. So below ground, you have the capacity to um, absorb nutrients and minerals, and these are spread heterogeneously over, over soil areas. Um, and so sometimes you have water uh, that, that sort of collects into deeper layers of the soil. So if, if plant roots can grow deeper down, they can then capture that water more efficiently. Uh, the same thing happens above ground. The architecture of the shoots influences uh, the capacity for photosynthesis and nutrient acquisition and gas exchange above ground, um, which is some of the things that we've talked about today through Keiko's talk as well. As an undergraduate, I studied uh, biotechnology and molecular biology. Uh, one of the modules that I had during my undergraduate was plant tissue culture. Uh, and that's really when my interest in plants uh, sparked, as it was. Um, I hated botany, though, uh, as, as, as a module, because I just couldn't deal with all the plant classifications. And for a long time, I thought that's what plant science was about. Um, and then eventually, when I started looking out for PhD positions, I realized that actually I didn't want to work on animals, to be brutally honest, because I couldn't cope with working with, on mice, embryos, and zebrafish. And so that's when I turned to plants. Um, and since then, I've been fascinated broadly because uh, my background means that I come from India, a country which has been in the news over the last decade or so because of the high percentage of farmer suicides. Um, you know, and this is simply because crop yields have failed and, and, and because crops uh, yields are so de dependent on changing climatic conditions. And I thought that plant sciences could sort of give me um, a path to try and address some of these things in my own small way, essentially. And that's, that's something that's really triggered my interest, the ability to mitigate uh, food security. The most rewarding thing about my job is knowing that um, things I do on a day-to-day -day basis, however small they are, every small experiment that I might do, um, has a part to play in sort of the bigger picture, be it in terms of the research that gets carried forward, um, you know, to industry, or simply just just telling us a little bit more about the things we're trying to study. Um, it all plays a role, and I think that's that's the most rewarding thing about it.